Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to the vlog. It is a Monday morning. It is 6.36, and I am struggling with the cold this morning. I woke up at 6, no problem, but I could not get out of bed because it was so cold. So I had to wait till my room heated up a bit. I'm currently just rendering my vlog and waiting for that. It says it's going to take an hour, which doesn't make sense because it didn't take that long yesterday. and way more footage and changes, so hopefully it'll figure itself out here in a second. But in the meantime, I'm just going to drink my... Uh, breakfast drink and go from there so here we are we have started the vlog I don't have huge plans for today I think the biggest plan that I have for today is doing laundry because I desperately need to but other than that there's nothing that's like if I don't do it the world will perish so I'm still hoping to get a lot done it just might be a slower pace today because I'm feeling pretty tired right now but it could again just be the cold because it's not nice so I've got my blanket here I got my cardigan on. We'll probably survive. <laughs> I just started vlogging and uh, talked for like an entire minute before I realized I didn't even turn the record button on. Good job me. Anyways, it is <laughs> currently 726. I'm exporting my vlog now. My thumbnail's already done. And two things. I can't remember if I mentioned it and I should because like I just edited yesterday's vlog but one, I think I need to get up immediately when my alarm goes off at 6 because every minute counts, especially if I'm working because if I were working today, I usually get up about 7.20 and I just go flat out for 25 minutes getting ready for work. Granted, because I spend a lot of time importing footage or rendering footage or whatever, I could get dressed in that time and I already have my breakfast drink, so like there'll be less that I need to do there, but I'll still need to probably do something to get ready. So I think I need to get up at six, especially on days that I work. There's there's no other option. Also, I'm really thinking that I should import my footage the night before. I was going to do that last night, and one, I was really tired, and two, I wanted to kind of test it again without like a crazy amount of footage. But we still have like 10 to 15 minutes left on the export here which would put us at just before quarter to seven, which is when I need to leave and like I need to upload before I go. So those extra like the 15 minutes that I just refused to get bed because it was cold this morning or, you know, probably the 10-ish minutes that I waited for it to render, those would also be helpful minutes. So import footage tonight, I think, because that takes a while and get up right away. I just sat there and I was like, what was the other thing I said? Also, I'm finding because I'm getting up earlier, so like if I was waking up at say 11, then that's seven, eight, nine, ten. That's like four hours of footage, 11. <laughs> that's five hours of footage that uh, extra or time that I have that I can be vlogging now. So yeah, my vlogs are just getting longer and that's, um. It's an okay thing, it's just adjusting expectations and all that. Anyway, as always, while well, this is exporting, I'm going to go work on my blog for today. I have a feeling that I should be able to get it up in time, no problem, today. <laughs> that was a lot of words really close together. Because it's pretty much 7.30 now and it's 10 to 11 minutes left exporting. So we should be no problem. So that's a win. First time in three days that it's gone up on time. And I will take it. I'm really struggling this morning. So I think I need to drink a lot more water because I've only had like a th three quarters of my bottle. And um, maybe turn on a light that might help things. And maybe get dressed. That'll probably help things too. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I'm just gonna ramble forever in this like little state that I've been. Okay, so it is just after 9.30. I am dressed and I've been really productive. <sighs> Sorry, I sent off a couple emails that I had to about um, the tart mug that I got that was broken and my friend gifted me something on Amazon Kindle but he bought it on .com and I can't redeem it because I'm .ca uh, so I sent off an email about that so hopefully I'll hear back from those. I obviously got ready. I'm trying some like sparkle glitter today. I don't know how I feel about it, but we'll see. And I really only have, I sent it, yeah, I sent another email about the book that I've been helping to edit. So I really only have about four things on my list to do today, which is pretty exciting. Actually, I need to add one more thing. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good, and I think it's almost nice out today. I can hear birds 
that's a good sign, right? Anyway, it is, let's see, it's like 7 degrees and it's not supposed to rain until 2 p.m. So maybe I should go out and try to get a walk in. Maybe I should text my friend because I really don't feel like going walking by myself. <sighs> it's so boring. But I think, because I ate like three, well, I had my breakfast drink like three hours ago. I'm getting kind of peckish. So I think I'm going to go make myself some food and then come back up and tackle a couple more things and at some point I have to do laundry. I like went through my hamper to see if there was anything I didn't need to wash because it's kind of full but honestly there is just so much stuff in there because I haven't done laundry for like a week. It's mostly socks and a couple like shirts and stuff. Maybe this is why I thought I didn't have shirts yesterday but no I definitely am running out of shirts and I'm wearing one of my new ones today. It's super cozy. I'm going to stop rambling though because I need to go get food and put it in my face. Uh, so we'll check in in a bit, hopefully with some more positive progress. Alrighty, so we ended up popping out to the store for a bit. I had lunch, breakfast. I don't even know. It's so weird because it was like four hours after I woke up. But anyways, it's crazy to think that I've been up for six and a half, closer to seven hours already. And it's just one o'clock. Well, anyway, we went to Fabriclan because I went to see if they had the dark green to match. They did not. So... I ended up doing the thing I didn't really want to do, and I just bought another pack. But in all fairness, I have been going through the colors pretty quickly, so, you know, I know I'll use them. I don't anticipate suddenly stopping embroidering. I hope not, because that's all fabric in that bin over there. But what I think I'll do going forward is if I want something that I know I'm going to need a lot of is either one, get it just in the skeins or order it online. That's another option. I could have ordered a dark green online, but I don't know if it would have matched and because I'm like almost finished this project. I can't just like, oh, well, it's close enough. Mm -mm. So anyways, we are now set. We have embroidery floss for days. I also picked up some of these cardboard bobbins for um, when I do get the skeins. And I think I actually have a couple in my kit that I could wind up. So they just go on there and then they'll fit in there nicely. And then I found this light blue fleece. I was gonna, after I got the navy fleece yesterday, I was like, well, maybe I should have got a lighter blue because like oceans maybe more, I don't know. And so I was like, well, let's just go take a look at the fleece. And this was on sale for $3.20. So good deal. But as I just showed you, we have a problem. <laughs> I think that just means I need to go a little bit harder on my embroidery. And also maybe for a while not get so time sucked into little ones like this. They're super cute. But I can get through fabric a lot faster when I'm making my stupid punny ones. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to order more hoops as well, but that's fine. We can do that. So that's where we're at. It is one o'clock. I'm doing laundry. I think it's another five minutes before I have to flip it. And then it looks like I might head out for a walk today. I texted my friend yesterday and he never texted me back. And he was like, oh no, I was busy. And I'm like, it's cool. It started raining like immediately after I texted you. So I was good. But... <laughs> Uh, so maybe we'll head out today. I just need to flip my laundry over, obviously. But yeah, so we're at. I'm feeling pretty all right. I have honestly almost done everything on my list. The one thing that I remember to add this morning that I was like, duh, I need to pack because tomorrow I am puppy sitting for Jessica's parents. I don't really probably need to pack tonight because I think uh, Jessica's dad has a doctor's appointment at four and they're leaving after that. So, you know. I got time but also I haven't heard from them so maybe they're not going because well, I saw Jessica's mom a couple weeks ago in Walmart and she was like uh yeah we might not be going down because her mother is staying with them right now she's from back east and if she wants to stay longer she's just gonna stay longer so she might not be flying out but we'll see I'm just going under the assumption that they are going down so I'm gonna pull out my itty bitty teeny weeny <laughs> suitcase and pack it and yeah, that's where we're at. So we'll potentially have some puppies in a couple days, which is very exciting for a couple days. It's only like Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then they're back on Thursday. So yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling now and I think the laundry is pretty much done. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to chug a little bit of water because I have not been doing well with water intake today and then go switch the laundry. Alrighty. So it has been quite some time and I'm here to update because, oh, Liam, it is a five to six now, so I can't remember if I mentioned, but my friend who I had talked to, or I texted yesterday about 
going out for a walk texted me today and was like well I was so busy do you want to go today so I did laundry and then once I was done laundry we went and we went for like an hour and it was hard because there was snow everywhere and it was like icy and I almost fell down once <laughs> like really bad to the point that I had to like well save me um so that was fun and then I came home oh while I was doing laundry I did my reading for the day and this is why I set myself a chapter slash time limit because I usually only read five chapters at a time and so I flipped the page to the next chapter and I was like oh what chapter is this and it was the seventh chapter if I started reading it because I had already read six. <sighs> Gets away with me, but it's fine. So finished the laundry, went for our hike slash walk. I got to pet a puppy and I was very excited about that. And then I came back and was just kind of zen chilling, being like, hmm, I should probably fold my clothes. I got out my suitcase. <laughs> Jessica's mom's te mom texted me and was like, oh yeah, uh, her husband has a doctor's appointment at four and then he'll come get me and I was like about to be like oh yeah that sounds good I was like wait wait this is tomorrow right she's like oh yeah I didn't mention I'm like thank god because I would not have been prepared if it was today but it is tomorrow which is good because I work in the morning and then I can just go and I'm off for three days so it's perfect but then Strudel's mom texted me and I have been trying to touch base connect with her in person for probably since the top of the year <laughs> and we're like the 20 20th today. So if you've been following along for a while, you know that Strudel's mom lives on Blind Channel where I work and she also had a dog named Lucky and Lucky was 17 and a bit and she passed away I think at the beginning of December, end of November, somewhere around there. So as you can imagine, heartbreak. She's had that dog for 17 years, like a best friend growing up kind of thing. So I decided to make her a blanket with a bunch of pictures of Lucky on it, thinking Either she'll love it, or actually more aptly I was thinking, she's going to see it, it's going to make her sad, but in time she will come to treasure it. So I don't have it with me now, obviously, because I did meet up with her today, but I did take some footage before, so I will insert that here. Alrighty, so I think this is future me, or maybe never at all me, I don't know if I'm ever going to put this in my vlog, but it is December 30th right now, and... If you've been around for a while, you know that I work out in Plan Channel, which is a resort in the summer, and there were two dogs there, Strudel, love Strudel, and Lucky, who was 17 and just passed away like two weeks ago, I think now, and being 17, obviously her owner had her for a very long time, and so I decided to make something to commemorate their time together, or as I say, so she can still cuddle Lucky whenever. So I made this blanket. It is giant. It's like 60 by 70. I think it's like a twin size, but I had I had a couple pictures of Lucky. So this is Lucky hiding in a bush, something she loves to do. And this is Lucky sleeping just this last summer. Little old puppy, but it's okay. Um, this is a picture that I snapped from uh, Strudel's Instagram with the two of them together. That's also from Strudel's Instagram, even though it's just Lucky. This is another one I got when I was there. Not this November, but the November before Lucky. And then this is when Lucky was younger and Strudel was a puppy. But yeah, I just wanted to give her something special because I know she's still really sad. And this might make her sad too because she sees it all the time. But I think in time, it will be something she really appreciates. So that's exciting. I can't wait to give it to her. I don't know when she's going to be back in town so I can see her. But yeah. We'll see if I ever share this. <laughs> Who knows? So we ended up going down and meeting her at the grocery store and I also had that embroidered thing that I made that said whale. I made that specifically for her because every time she sees whales she goes whale. And so I gave her that and then I was like oh I have this for you too. And so we're like in the grocery store and like holding it up so she can see it and she was like don't cry in the store, don't cry in the store. But she really appreciated it. She's like I can't wait to get home and snuggle this because it's like she gets to snuggle Lucky again. And there's, it's, I mean, as you saw, it's got like the two big pictures and then the four little ones. And I was pilfering Strudel's uh, Instagram page to get those pictures. So yeah, she loves it. She didn't get as upset as I thought she would, but also I think it was because we were at a grocery store. So that was probably a good thing. And then we joked about her like driving home with it, like wrapped around her and she's just like sobbing. <laughs> And she gets like pulled over by the cops and she's just like, my dog, my dog, wayo! <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And then my mom says she's gonna go home and to everybody in Blind Channel, she's gonna be like, Tiffany likes me more than you and look what she got me. So, yeah, 
hopefully she'll get some nice cuddles and love under that. It is such a soft blanket, I know, because the one that I made for myself is very similar to it. Different retailers I went through because I did hers through Walmart and they couldn't do mine in the size that I needed to and I couldn't edit it enough, so I had to do mine through Staples, but they're basically the same blanket and they're so soft, so I'm very happy she liked it. I'm glad that she didn't start bawling in the store because that's what I was afraid of, and now she has it, so that's good. I don't need to stress about meeting up with her, but now it is time for dinner. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to put on socks first because I've gone through so many pairs of socks today because the hike that we went on, my I was double socked and it was so wet and then I forgot it was wet and so I put my boots back on so I killed another pair of socks when we just went out. But I'm going to put on some socks and then after dinner I probably need to fold my laundry, pack some clothes and um, hopefully get a little bit of work either done on my book or I have a video I want to edit that can just go up whenever I want so it's not a huge deal. But I'm gonna go now and I will check in with you after dinner. All right, so as you might be able to see, I have done nothing and everything has just become a mess. But I finished this. Look how cool it looks. Wait, lighting bad. Look at it. It's so cool. It's not perfect. There's like this spot here that I hate, but not bad for my first attempt with both those stitches. Yeah. Anyway, it is nine o'clock now. I started working on my book and then just wasn't feeling it. So instead of sit there and like push myself into something that I was not enjoying, I decided instead to watch some Survivor and finish that embroidery piece. So that's cool. That took a lot of time and I was looking at the reference piece for it and they did not put this many small little trees here. So I could probably chill out a little bit on that next time, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm pretty okay with it. Anyway, the plan now, it is currently nine, or just after, is to get some clothes packed in my bag for tomorrow, and then fold the other clothes, we'll see if that happens, and tidy up, because it is a mess in here while watching Survivor, and hopefully <laughs> by the time before 10 o'clock rolls around, I'll be nice and tidy and clean and good to go, so... That is the plan, and um, hopefully next time I check in with you, that will have come to fruition. Alrighty, so I got a message from Strudel's mom, and it was so cute. <laughs> let me see if I can find it. I like how I'm like, let me see if I can find it, and that was why I picked up <laughs> this. Uh, she got home and she said, I'll just hold my blanket and cry, it's cool. And I was like, oh, like I, that wasn't my intention. I knew it was a possibility, but I just hope it keeps you warm and cozy and brings you lots of good memories. Then she said, Spooky, the cat had stolen it. And I was like, she looks kind of confused. To which she replies, Spooky always looks confused. And then she sent this picture of Strudel just laying on the blanket. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and so, yeah. It's sad, but I hope that it'll bring them both lots of love and stuff. Anyway, it is now the end of the night. It is 10 after 10, so a little bit later than I was hoping to be ending the vlog. Because I've been trying to climb into bed at about 10. It hasn't happened yet, so I shouldn't be surprised, but I am in my pajamas and my skincare is all good. The only last thing I have to do before I go to bed is transfer this footage because I'm actually on a time constraint tomorrow morning because I have to go to work. So I can't just be like, mm, well, if it's not eight, it's fine. It's like I need to have it upload it or uploading at the very minimum by like 20 to eight. So we're not gonna waste time with the transferring of the footage. And we're also not gonna waste time with not getting out of bed on time. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. And with that, thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. Uh -huh.